Hey, Captain Turner here. This is uh, just a little something that some people might be interested in, but um, I, I definitely was. Um, if you look at the toolbar buttons at the top here, when I move my mouse now, we, n we have no white line. We have no white line whatsoever on the top of the screen when I move my mouse around. I managed to um, get that off. There is no mod. Um, I think there is a mod somewhere on the internet. Um, but I've done it without using a mod. I don't like putting things in my community folder. Um, so I changed this myself and I'm about to show you how to do it. You can still access your toolbar buttons by moving your mouse to the top. But when you're in flight, I find personally I don't like that white line at the top. It kind of ruins the immersion for me. So um, I, I figured out a way to get rid of that um, without using any sort of mod. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that if you'd like to get rid of it too. So I'm just going to come off my game here. I'll just minimise that. So you need to um, go into um, the drive where Microsoft Flight Simulator is um, located on your system. Um, mine's on my C drive here. Um, you're basically looking for um, users first and mine is cptu and we want app data you can access app data here by um, unhiding your folders I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that by now um, but if you don't what I will do quickly is just go in the control panel um, and just show you how to do that go to file explorer options and go to view um, and select this show hidden files folders and drives select that apply and press ok and then you will find this app data folder once you get this folder go in there click on roaming microsoft flight simulator you then want to go to packages official um, i have um, microsoft flight simulator from steam um, if you have it from somewhere else I'm sure you will be able to still locate the folder but I'm going to click in this folder here scroll nearly to the bottom and look for a folder called FS Base UI Pages now I'm going to click on that I'm going to go to HTML UI and I'm going to Pages once I'm in Pages I will then go to Toolbar once I'm in toolbar, I'm going to open up this file here. I'm going to scroll down until I see a background image, linear gradients, and you'll see these numbers here. Where it says display here, if you haven't already done this, um, you will have the word you will have the word block where none is here. And all you need to do is delete the word block from here and just type in none just here once you've done that you then need to scroll down a little bit more to where it says toolbar toolbar handle toolbar arrow once you come to here it will say display again you will most, most probably have the word um, inline inline with a dash and then block you will have that word where this word none is so you want to go ahead and delete that from in here and just replace it with the word none make sure you go to file make sure you hit save and then you can just come out of everything and once you've done that you can go back in your sim and um, you have no toolbar at the top uh, you have no toolbar white lines to annoy you on your flight it might not be annoying to some people I find like I said it ruins the immersion of the flight for me so that's why I um, that's why I switch that off or disable it and um, like I said there's no mod you don't have to install a mod or anything just modify it yourself it's a simple thing to do but the uh, the toolbar buttons are still there if you hover your mouse just over where it used to be these all still work normally um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these um, whatsoever everything will work absolutely fine <laughs> apart from that just disappeared on my other screen anyway 
that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope some of you um, find this beneficial in some way. Some of you might like the toolbar there, but others might not. So if you don't, that is all you've got to do.